prescription writing writing of prescription is an art prescription order is an important therapeutic transaction between physician and patient prescription is a written order from the physician to the pharmacist for the preparation and dispensing of medicines to the patients prescription order contains the names and quantities of the desired drugs it also communicates instructions to the pharmacist for dispensing medicines as well as to the patients on how to take the prescribed medicines so the prescription must be written correctly and legibly for the correct supply of medicines the prescription order follows a definite pattern it consists of place and date patient and doctor details superscription inscription subscription transcription or signature initial with stamp date the date as its own importance the date of the prescription is important in the medical legal cases it is also essential to avoid the misuse of prescription for an indefinite period it will refresh the physician's memory whenever the re refilling of prescriptions name and address also bears importance the prescription should be bear the name address age and weight of the patient this will help to avoid the possibility of misuse and errors further name and address are legally essential for certain drugs especially the narcotic drugs inclusion of address also enables the pharmacist to contact the patient if need arises later on prescribed doses of medicines differ for babies children or adults so the age and weight are desired to confirm the suitability of doses of the prescribed drugs superscription it consists of the symbol rx r stands for the latin word receive meaning take tau a direction to the pharmacist the tail x properly represents the symbol j originally intended to invoke the blessing of jupiter the god of healing the supreme roman deity inscription it is a main part of the prescription so it is called as body of the prescription it contains the names and amount of remedial agents drugs are written either by their official names or by their proprietary names following by the dose in the metric system name of each drug is written on a separate line directly under the preceding one the name of each drug is started with kept the capital letter now the medical gazette has come the name of the drug should be written in capital letter only and preferably the generic name the ins inscription of a compound prescription consists of the following four distinct portions basis the basis of the prescription is the chief active ingredient from which the physician expects the true remedial effects adjuvant or auxiliary is a, it is a drug that in intensifies or assists the action of the basis corrective it is a drug that is used to correct modify or overcome any undesirable effects of the basis or adjuvant so it improves the effect appearance or the taste of the medicament flavoring agents coloring agents are employed to improve the taste and appearance of the mixture respectively vehicle a vehicle is some substance usually with no therapeutic activity it is added to 
dilute the active ingredients to the reasonable dose size or to provide sufficient bulk it is termed as a diluent, diluent in case of liquids and powders and excipient in case of pills and tablets and as a base in case of ointments water water alcohol mixtures and other aqueous or alcoholic liquids are used as vehicles for liquid preparations in case of solid dosage forms pills tablets they may confer cohesive properties to your drugs and make up the bulk to a respectable looking pill or a tablet when active substances do not amount to more than a few milligrams at present due to availability of ready made dosage forms or official formulations the need to write additional prescriptions compromising of a base adjuvant corrective and vehicle is virtually not required subscription the subscription includes the physicians directions to the pharmacist it deals with the method of preparation of the medicine mix and make a mixture and in case of solid preparation so as to the number of the pills or the tablets to be dispensed transcription or uh, signature this term has been uh, derived from the latin word signature which means let it be labeled it includes direction from the patient it is the directions for the patient or nurse which the pharmacist is required to put in a specific and lucid manner on the label of the medicine container the important details of the administration of the drug should be mentioned here for example how to administer or apply the drug its dose and time of administration the physicians often write the directions in abbreviated latin preceded by signature to save time so it is the duty of the pharmacist to express them in, a, in the vernacular when transcribing them on the label that but the medical gazet has come the so as the physicians should write the directions the capital letters and also explain the patients how to take the drugs here the pharmacist also plays an important role regarding the direct, giving directions to the patients how to take the drugs expressions like take as directed or take as necessary are not satisfactory and should be avoided directions for the particular use of medicine should start with the particular word as under for say for a uh, internal use you should write take for ointment and uh, lotion right apply for suppositories insert prescriber identity the prescription must be signed by the prescriber be dated and should be at his address registration number this is required as per the drugs act this is the final guarantee of the genuineness of the order only a registered medical practitioner can prescribe the drugs when you consider the prescription writing format it be uh, it should be legibly and correctly written on a single page or a single paper when you consider a sample here to explain we a for suppose for example you take prescribed drugs for a case of young hypertensive patients the prescription format should uh, 
have all these headings as compulsory like uh, place and date on the right side upper upper corner patients details left side and uh, doctors detail on the right side patients details and this name of the patient age sex occupation address contact number weight of the patient is also essential here name of the doctor doctor details name of the doctor qualifications registration number address of the clinic or hospital with the contact number in superscription we have the symbol rx or rj it is uh, the symbol representing uh, to take tau or uh, a greeting to the god of healing the jupiter inscription it contains the name of the drug dosage frequency duration of administration it is a direction of the to the patient from the doctor or physician the name of the drug should be written compulsory with capital letters then coming to subscription subscription includes the physician's directions to the pharmacist the number of pills to be given the number of pills or tablets to be dispensed then the importance of the subscription is to reduce the communication gap between patient and the physician and direct the pharmacist to detect any odes of the potent drugs for the safety of the patient and educate the patient about compliance and how to take the medication transcription our signature the both are same signature here it is not a signature of the doctor or pharmacist it is the direction from the pharmacist to the patient transcription or signature both the terms are same it includes the directions for the patient or nurse which the pharmacist is required to put in a specific and lucid manner on the label of medicine container here the directions are given like take one tablet daily at 8 am after breakfast review after 3 months so we are uh, prescribing for a case of uh, hypertensive patient who is young uh, hypertensive patient the superscription is rx inscription is tablet atenolol 50 mg od is the it is the direction from the physician to the patient subscription it dispense the 30 tablets repeat after two months this is the subscription is the directions from the physicians to the pharmacist physician to pharmacist transcription or signature 
it's the direction from the pharmacist to the patient or nurse that is here it is take one tablet daily at 8 am after breakfast to be after three months then it lost the initial with the stamp is necessary stamp containing day again the patient's initial date stamp containing again the medical registration number without the initial and stamp the genuineness of this uh, prescription order is doubted and it becomes invalid so the initial the stamp is a must in the case of prescription writing then coming to the some of the prescription orders first one prescribed drugs for a case of acute left ventricular failure associated with hypertension prescribe drugs for a case of acute left ventricular failure associated with hypertension then you will uh, write the place date patient details doctor details then you write the treatment starting with rx prescription i'll be telling slowly and repeatedly because you have to write this prescription in your clinical pharmacology record neatly so first one will be prescribed drugs for a case of acute left ventricular failure associated with hypertension treatment oxygen administration by mask 3 to 5 liters per minute oxygen administration by mask 3 to 5 liters per minute injection morphine 2 to 8 mg iv and may be repeated after 2 to 4 hours injection morphine whenever you write drug name you write drug name in capital letters only injection morphine 2 to 8 mg iv and may be repeated after 2 to 4 hours injection furosemide 40 mg iv stat injection furosemide 40 mg iv stat sublingual nitroglycerin sublingual nitroglycerin or topical nitroglycerin patch or topical nitro glycerin patch coming to the second question prescribed drugs for a case of ventricular tachycardia prescribed drugs for a case of ventricular tachycardia write the treatment injection lidocaine injection lidocaine 
1.2 mg per kg body weight iv at 50 mg per minute injection lidocaine 1.2 mg per kg body weight iv at 50 mg per minute and maintain iv dosage at 1 to 4 mg per minute and maintain iv doses at 1 to 4 mg per minute third question prescribed drugs for a case of petit mal epilepsy in a child of 6 years prescribed drugs for a case of petit mal epilepsy in a child of 6 years treatment tablet ethosuximide 125 mg bd tablet ethosuximide 125 mg bd whenever you write the drug name you should write in capital letters and uh, so to with thorough with these abbreviations od is once daily bd is twice daily dad is th thrice daily qid is four times daily start dose is at once loading dose maintaining maintaining maintenance dose hs is a hour of sleep all these abbreviations should be thorough. Coming to the next prescription. Prescribed drugs for a case of status epilepticus. Prescribed drugs for a case of status epilepticus. Again, the format, everything, it should be read clearly. Date, place. Patient details, doctor details, superscription, Rx, then you write the treatment injection, diazepam, 10 mg slow IV, injection diazepam, 10 mg slow IV, repeated every 10 minutes interval till seizures are controlled. Injection diazepam 10 mg, slow IV, repeated every 10 minutes interval till seizures are controlled. At the end, the initial with again the restriction number is very essential. Otherwise, the prescription is invalid. When you write this prescription, prescription format, in the exam the format should be containing all these headings date place then patient details doctor details superscription inscription subscription transcription or signature then initial with the stamp. The, do, the do, drug and the dosage form should be written correctly. Don't make any blunders regarding the dosage. Everything is important in prescription writing. Coming to the fifth question, prescribed drugs for a case of Parkinsonism. Prescribed drugs for a case of Parkinsonism. Rx. Tablet Levodopa 100 mg. Plus tablet Carbidopa 25 mg TAD. 
tablet load of 100 mg plus tablet carbidopa 25 mg both in the combination you give tid sixth one sixth question the prescribed drugs for a case of pain due to malignancy prescribed drugs for a case of pain due to malignancy tablet morphine 30 to 100 mg bd tablet morphine 30 to 100 mg pd prescribed drugs for a case of acute congestive glaucoma prescribed drugs for a case of acute congestive glaucoma pilocarpine 2 percent eye drops pilocarpine 2 percent eye drops given one to two drops every fourth hourly pilocarpine 2 percent eye drops given one to two drops every fourth hourly eighth question prescribed for a case of organophosphorus poisoning prescribed for a case of organophosphorus poisoning injection atropin 2 mg iv every 10 minutes until full atropination occurs injection atropin 2 mg iv every 10 minutes until full atropination occurs injection prolidoxine 1 to 2 grams iv stat and may be repeated at intervals of 20 to 60 minutes injection prolidoxine 1 to 2 grams iv stat and may be repeated at intervals of 20 to 60 minutes ninth question prescribed drugs for a case of uterine inertia prescribed drugs for a case of uterine inertia or induction of delayed labor induction of delayed labor oxytocin drip 5 units in 500 ml of 5% dextrose oxytocin drips 5 units in 500 ml of 5% dextrose at a rate of at a rate of 1 milli unit per minute 1 milli unit per minute increased by 1 milli unit for every 30 minutes 1 milli unit for every 30 minutes and should be given up to 4 milli units per minute oxytocin oxytocin drip 5 units in 500 ml of 5% dextrose at a rate of 1 milli unit per minute increased by 1 milli unit for every 30 minutes and should be given up to 4 milli units per minute tenth question prescribed drugs for a case of diabetic ketoacidosis prescribed drugs for a case of diabetic ketoacidosis injection regular insulin 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 units per kg body weight iv bolus injection regular insulin 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 units per kg body weight 
IV bolus dose is followed by 0 0.1 units per kg body weight per hour infusion. Injection regular insulin 0 0.1 to 0 0.0 units per kg IV bolus dose is followed by 0 0.1 units per kg per hour infusion. Normal saline infu IV infusion initially at the rate of 1 liter per hour, reduces, reducing progressively to 0 0.5 liters per minute per 4 hours. Normal saline IV infusion initially at the rate of 1 liter per hour, reducing progressively to 0 0.5 liters per 4 hours. Potassium chloride 10 to 20 milli equivalents per hour is added to the IV infusion after 4 hours. Potassium chloride 10 to 20 milli equivalents per hour is added to IV infusion after 4 hours. Sodium bicarbonate 50 milli equivalents is added to IV infusion. Sodium bicarbonate 50 milli equivalents is added to IV infusion. Phosphate infusion at a rate of 5 to 10 millimole per hour. Phosphate infusion at a rate of 5 to 10 millimole per hour. Then also the treatment of respiratory precipitating causes like trauma, infection, stress, myocardial infarction, and inadequate treatment of diabetes. Treatment of precipitating causes like trauma, infection, stress, myocardial infarction, and inadequate treatment of diabetes. Coming to the 11th question, prescribed drugs for a case of meningococcal meningitis. Prescribed drugs for a case of meningococcal meningitis. Injection ceftriaxone 4 grams IV stat followed by 2 grams IV once a day for 7 days. Injection ceftriaxone 4 grams IV stat followed by 2 grams IV once a day for seven days. Twelfth question, prescribed drugs for a case of leprosy. Prescribed drugs for a case of leprosy. Tablet Dapson 100 mg plus tablet Clofazimine 50 mg once daily. Tablet Dapson 100 mg plus tablet Clofazimine 50 mg once daily plus tablet clofazimine 300 mg once in a month tablet clofazimine 300 mg once in a month plus capsule rifampicin 600 mg half an hour before breakfast once in a month capsule rifampicin 600 mg half an hour before breakfast once in a month all the drugs are given for a duration of 12 months all the drugs for a duration of 12 months so they are clean uh, clinical records it should be Writing all these prescription orders, prescription, the prescription format containing all the details like place, date, name of the patient, name of the doctor, Rx, the superscription, inscription, 
is the name of the drug, dosage, frequency, and duration, and its direction to the patient to the patient. Then comes the subscription, how to dispense, and how duration, how many days to give, and this direction from the physician to the pharmacist. Then comes the transcription or signature. This is the directions from the pharmacist to the patient or nurse. How to take, when to take. Then the initial with the stamp is a very important, the last without which the prescription becomes invalid. So the prescription format it's a very important uh, written order from the physician. So it should be correct and it will, it will be written carefully and legibly with utmost responsibility. Thank you for active listening.